guys, it's Khadija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of VNA. Let me tell you the situation on this. So, like, it was Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, okay, just download whatever I gotta download. Found out, like, the first two episodes of the show was coming out, because, as I said, um, all six episodes are gonna be coming out, like, ASAP. And... I was all ready to download this show, and I was like, well, let me check the subtitles for this real quick. I was maybe, I, I clicked, like, maybe two, three, five minutes into the show, and it was, like, double subtitles, like, right on top of each other. And I was like, there's no way in hell I'm watching that. So I said, mm, maybe I'll wait a couple of days. So I checked on Monday, and I looked, and the double subs were, like, gone, and now they're just one subs. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever, so... Now I have all six, and I'm about to spend three hours watching six episodes. <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Also, can we just talk about, this song is really good, but I hate the fact that it's only a minute long. And I'm blaming Netflix on that. Like, I, I'm really sorry, because... Like, can we talk about Beastars for a second? Because, I mean... Beastars is a good damn opening, and that's, what, longer than a minute? And then you give this show just a minute opening, like, with a really good damn song. Like, oof. Like, Netflix, even though I have you, I, I like, honestly, I hate you right now, because, seriously, you put this show and several other damn shows in Netflix jail, and then people can't see this until, like, almost maybe a couple of months or a freaking year after it's aired and then you're just like oh well damn that's how i felt about people with carol on tuesday because like oh my god people were like oh i can't wait what happens next and over i'm like <laughs> if you only knew Oh, shit. Is it humans? It's got to be humans. Well, damn, 10 years, shit, um, damn, I like 30 years before, <laughs> let me stop. Oh my god. Hmm. Did, did that just say Facebook? No, that's supposed to be Instagram. Oh, shit!
she's got to run into somebody who's going to protect the shit out of her. I mean, she ain't got no weapons. What else can you do? Oh, oh damn. The question is, why the fuck do you hate them so much? Hmm? Hmm? That's true. Oh, the weasel girl, I'm like, right? I feel like I've heard your voice before. I mean, with our raccoon, it's obvious I've heard her voice. Oh, damn. I mean, y'all couldn't just say, like, hey, this is the first time. You ain't got to worry about it. Mm. But then when it's in your second time, yeah, give me an IOU. Go play. No, 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 don't lick my hand. Go play. Oh, all right, puppy. Okay. Go lay down. Right. Is that a wolf? The f uh, yeah, that is. Deuces, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Go. Go. See, mm mm. Mm mm. Oh shit, she about to die. Okay.
You're going to run into somebody. Oh, told you. <laughs> the owl? So where the hell is she going to sleep? I mean, let's think about that real quick. <laughs> like, yes, bitch, be celebrating. But where is she going to sleep? Is she even having a funny for hotel? Isn't that the... Yeah, that is. Is it supposed to be rebel? <laughs> Didn't she give you all her money? I'm like, damn. This monkey is literally hold the. <laughs> uh. Girl, he gone. <laughs> oh my god. would be an old person. Oh my god. No, no, it's just an accident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one time you kind of wish you had your phone, but no, your phone's kind of destroyed, so fuck.
You can't go by yourself. How the fuck do you? Really, a deer. A deer is a bad guy. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this season of Beast Stars like a good. I swear, I know his voice. I can't think of him right now, but I know it. So you're just basically gonna kill him now, right? Jesus. I wouldn't be surprised if he tore them antlers off. <laughs> no, no, he deserves it. It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And plus, he has the right to do whatever the fuck he wants.
Yeah, but you're still going to have regular crime. Because you're one. Really, we got someone up in here. Like, oh my god, we so cute. Man. <laughs> I like fucking literally wish I could do my ass. I can't. Oh, uh, this is such a good first episode. I mean, it's funny because the girl who plays Baby Raccoon Dog, that's what we're gonna call her until we find out what her name is. Is the same person who was Emma in The Promised Neverland and freaking best girl Ichigo from Aikatsu, who like literally made the series of idols and such best series ever. But I have so many questions. It makes me wonder why in the world did the humans hate the beast? Then that's the biggest thing. Like you just really want to know why. Mm. It just seems like humans in this series are very corrupted, just as much as some of the beastmen are. You can tell. I, I don't think it's going to be somewhat 100% like these stars. I think what they're going to do with this series and what it seems like is this is, if I can compare it, almost like Sherlock Holmes in a way, because you're going to have two different animal types working together and how they can, you know, be friends and shit like that. Who knows? I, I mean, I got no fucking clue. But, I mean, the... The chemistry between these two, it's a little off because this is just episode one. This is the first time that they're meeting each other. And so they're getting both first impressions of each other. And it's just like, I don't know how much I, I like you right now. And then knowing that, yes, a raccoon dog used to be human. How the fuck did you turn into an animal, though? That's the biggest thing I want to know. Because everybody in this city used to also be human as well. So what in the world happened for y'all to turn into some freaking be a human one second and then the next minute be an animal. That's the biggest thing that I want to freaking know because there's so many unanswered questions. Then you have the dude that um, Mayor Rose talked to in his situation. He kind of gives me feels towards maybe any type of asshole character that I don't really like. Um, but yeah. I mean, there's a lot of unanswered questions, and it's only really episode one, but this is, like, a really good first episode. I love the references to a lot of pop culture things. I wasn't expecting, like, see, okay, no. If they have, like, I don't know, like, a fucking Walmart or a Target or... They got a Subway because there was a sign, there was a sign in the opening, so possibly also Coca-Cola. I don't know, like, literally anything. Because it's giving me also fields towards, um... Carol and Tuesday and the pop culture references in that show so there's going to be a lot more in this but yeah I mean this is just the year of the furries because last year we had Beastars even though it's coming out this year for Netflix and stuff and then this year you have BNA and so who knows what the hell could be next but I'm just really excited to see one of my other favorite voice actresses in this show because this is something besides her there's another girl who's in the series that I've seen and this is their first show where they're not really known for one of the biggest characters that they play in, in like a big ass series to coming into something that's brand new besides the Promise Neverland because I mean Promise Neverland but I don't know I mean I think she's gonna do good but I'm just really excited I just want to know who the freaking wolf is and who his VA is because I feel like I know who he is but yeah other than that go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two okay episode two and three Two, one, go. Well, baby, not anymore. I mean, okay, hold on, like, what if they sprayed something in the human world in the air, and then people just turned into animals like that, and then they're like, hey, 
let's make a utopia for animals. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have like so many theories, so many questions. <laughs> You're telling me seriously that that VA is Susie. I, mm, bruh. <laughs> That the woman who plays Mary is fucking Susie from Little Witch. Like, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's like, I'm winning. What the fuck? Oh, you look so cute. I mean, she is still new at this, though. <laughs> My poor people. <laughs> You'll figure it out. But Yeah, so something had to get in your DNA. Oh my god, so precious! Oh. Yeah, but you still gotta register me to do so. Go ahead and do it. Okay, but here's the thing. Do you have that with you right now? Yeah. Kind of figured. Hmm. Poor baby. This is why you don't ever really put shit in your tail. You put it somewhere else. <laughs> oh. You're going to have her sleep in here. Oh, okay. Birds thing. Hmm. Okay.
Maybe she'll dream about her life before she was there anyway, no? No, I mean, come on, damn it. We could have, you could have did that. Mm. Wait. Mm. And nobody wants to follow the rules. The Bullshit. Hey, Susie. Holy shit. How can I help? You shut up. <laughs> It'd be a damn hard inside. This seems a little sketchy. But <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You want her to work for you, right? Oh, that's easy.
gonna blow that kid's nose? I mean, goddamn. Don't eat it, uh, so. Thank you, girl. Oh. I swear to God, if you want to would have ate that damn chocolate, I'd be like, Whoa. That thing that was on the Bruh, that face. Mm -mm. How the fuck you fit in the car? <laughs> the kids? Damn. Yeah. They're all orphans. Mm-hmm.
Me too. How the hell are you gonna open the bars? Yeah, I forgot you could do that. You tried though. Mm. She a fighter though. I like I like that about her. It really is. <laughs> oh, God, she is. Oh, my. <laughs> God, shut up. Like, God damn. Thank goodness. <laughs> the wallet. She automatically knows. I get that. But... And you wouldn't have been able to do anything.
well. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that last few minutes, but I mean, as I said in episode one, people in this city, not only humans are corrupt, but people in this city are corrupted as fuck. I mean, to sell some kids, that's fucked up. Like, mm, oh God, I, I, and there are people who do, do that shit in real life too. The sex traffickers and everything else is just so wrong. But like, uh, I get the fact that you know he had to catch them in the act in order to do it, but still he could have prevented them. The kids almost getting sold because, as Michu just said, what if they got sold? What if they were on the boat? What if they never saw him again? Then you would have been sitting here like, oh shit! Well, what the fuck can I do now? There's so many unanswered questions about that. It's a big old what if? What if this happened? What if that happened? There's so many things. And I mean, okay, Shido's a really nice guy. I do like him. He's like, he just, he's gorgeous. Let's just say that. And I cannot believe I'm, for the second time in less than a year, I'm attracted to one of their <laughs> An animal, oh my god, what the fuck? But, I mean, oh god, I don't know how to feel about him. Like, he, he's, he seems arrogant at times, a little bit of an asshole, but he's honest about what he does. And the fact is that he has to get it done, get it done without no question and everything. But still, there's going to be a point in time where I have so many questions about his backstory, and maybe the person who's seeing in the the ending theme could have been his former wife or something. Who knows? Because he feels like someone who has had a very tragic past. I mean, meet you, dude. This was a girl who was just a regular old chick hanging out with somebody who also looked like damn Susie with pink hair, and then one day she was just turned into a beast man. So I mean. Hopefully, with episodes three to six, I kind of do get answers on what basically happened. How were their normal everyday lives as a human? And then, bam, here's the day where all these regular old humans were slowly turning into beastmen. I mean, who fucking knows? Like I said, there, there's so many unanswered questions. But it has to do something with maybe their genes, specifically DNA. So maybe, like, either the parent, um, either a mother or a father, or even both of the parents. Because it's that stupid, um, it's the one thing that you learned in science class. Like, if, you know, if your parent has brown eyes, if one of your parents has brown eyes and the other one has blue, you have, like, a 50-50% chance. Or if one's tall and one's short, you have a 50-50% chance or something like that. I don't remember what it's called because it's been a long time. But it's some, it has to be something like that. Because in the end, it's about DNA. What else would it be about? But, Yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of DNA. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys. How the hell am I going to do this? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to watch the other episodes in a few minutes. But I think I'm going to either release these either 30 minutes or an hour apart on Friday when this comes out. So yeah, I'll either see you guys in either 30 minutes or an hour for episodes three and four. Bye guys.